officials are looking to keep the crowds coming back for more. Two News reporter Asia Vickers joins us live near downtown to explain how they're going to do that. Asia? Well, Russ, the city got a taste of how important tourism can be, and they want Tulsa to be a destination place for years to come. 42,000 tickets sold. Hotel occupancy rates skyrocketed between 30 to 80 percent from the year before. Mayor Dewey Bartlett says he's so happy Tulsa was able to host the tournament. It provided the catalyst, along with all the other things that are going on, to experience the buzz about what, what a great thing we have to sell here in Tulsa and experience at the same time. Bartlett says this is a beginning of a renaissance for the city, with the tournament creating a momentum officials want to capitalize on. That's where Visit Tulsa comes into play. It's a program that promotes tourism through the Convention and Visitors Bureau. This afternoon, Ray Hoyt was named senior vice president of the program. Tulsa has a lot to offer. Hoyt has been with the Tulsa Sports Commission for the past seven months. He was instrumental in handling the NCAA tournament. Hoyt says sports are always a good draw. Everybody's a sports fan of something, whether it's uh, fencing or, or auto racing. And it's easy to, people you know, get enthusiastic and are passionate about sports and the competitive nature. He also hopes to bring more festivals, do events using the trail system, and have riverfront events. Hoyt says Tulsa has a lot of assets, including the BOK Center, Driller Stadium, the Convention Center, and Expo Square. He also wants surrounding cities to be included in the tourism plan as well. Officials with Visit Tulsa are now talking to consultants. They will look at the city's strengths and weaknesses, meet with business managers, and conduct surveys with visitors. They hope to have results in about three months. Then Visit Tulsa officials will work on a strategic plan. And city leaders say they will launch their first initiative this summer. Live near downtown Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you. Visit